Welcome again YouTubers to my channel, Shell Ducks channel and in this video I'm gonna see if I can help in solving some of the engine vibration issues that many people face with this type of vehicle. Now one of the first things that I would recommend is that if you have engine vibration and you want to solve this engine vibration issue you first need to study your vehicle or get some ideas of what can possibly cause your engine vibration. Now, my vehicle is not causing engine vibration for me, but I am just trying to assist in do with those persons who have engine vibration issues. Now, one of the first things that you need to ensure is that you have two major systems that you need to look at. One the electrical system and two the mechanical system now you need to evaluate which of those systems you are having problem with so if you check in your dashboard for any engine check light and none is there it means that you would have cleared your electrical system as being the cause of your engine vibration so one of the other thing that you need to do is to look at your mechanical system now one of the part that you can first look at when you're trying to solve your engine vibration issue these are your spark plug now before I go into the spark plug you are going to check the vehicle from the simplest of things that can cause engine vi vibration to the more difficult so why are you doing this for the for one thing is that you don't want to be pulling up part on your vehicle and then find out that it is the simplest things that creates the engine vibration and you would have already gone through so many different parts of cleaning and, and, and fixing things that don't need to be fixed so you need to start at the simplest of things to see what is causing your engine vibration so we have put away the electrical system as being the fault so we we don't have to focus on the electrical system any at all so one of the things that you need to look at is your spark plugs so you need to remove the coil pack each of them clean your spark plug and ensure that they are in good condition when you clean your spark plug you also need to clean the tip of the section that goes into the the coil pack so when you do all of that you can then fit them up back check your engine to see if it is still having that vibration issue if it is having the vibration issue you can do another check now that other check is your throttle body so what you can do is to dismantle the throttle body from the intake system get a very good cleaner you can use a, a um, carburetor cleaner when you dismantle the the throttle body from the intake system ensure that whenever you're cleaning it no of none of the the cleaner goes into the air intake system that leads into your engine so you remove it totally and clean the throttle body inside section along with the valve and then you can start your vehicle again whenever you're completed cleaning it and replace it and see if your engine vibration issue has been solved now if that is not the problem you can also check your injectors now the injectors located under here so you can check your fuel reel and the fuel reel shows you where the injectors are and these are the connection that leads to each injector so you open each of them clean your injectors and then that is another check that you can make to find out if this is the cause of your engine vibration 
Now, if that is not the cause of your engine vibration, you can go onto your EGR valve. Now, the EGR valve is connected to your exhaust system, and what it does is to recirculate some of the exhaust air or gas back into the intake system. And from time to time, some of the exhaust fume carrying carbon will go into your EGR valve and it may block the EGR valve causing it to open and not being able to close or cause it to close and not being able to open properly or open any at all so that can be another issue here's an, a video that I had um, put together of how to locate your EGR valve in fact on this vehicle this pipe lead to the EGR valve going in this direction so after dismantling your air intake system and take off this you will be able to have access to your EGR valve and the EGR valve is located somewhere around by the back where the intake system is now after doing all of that and you still have your engine vibration issue you may need to check your fuel pressure to see if you have proper fuel pressure now the fuel system is what you would have to go into and you would have to ensure that the fuel filter that is there you have to check the fuel filter to ensure that enough pressure is going through the fuel filter itself so that enough pressure is going to the injector so now whenever they are open whenever the injectors are open the injector actually because of the pressure allows the certain amount of fuel that should go into the combustion chamber is sprayed in the combustion chamber also you may need to check your fuel pump inside the um the fuel tank because there is a filter that is inside the fuel tank that may may be blocked slightly and it is not able to pull all of that fuel that requires the pressure up by the um the injectors and because of this suction of fuel not being pulled up properly you may not get the amount of pressure that you need at the injector so these are some issues that you can look at that can cause engine vibration now engine vibration is not something that you have to you're going to take lightly because there's a number of things that can either come together to cause engine vibration or there can be one thing two things three things so many different things that can go wrong to cause engine vibration so you have to be diligent in searching out the system to find this problem and you will not be able to give a mechanic your vehicle and the mechanic in an instant solve your problem no because the same way as how i am trying to explain to you to find that problem that is creating the engine vibration is the same thing that same procedure the mechanic would have to go through to search each different system to see what is the cause of this engine vibration to clean it or to fix it so it is not a quick fix it may be something that will be staying the vehicle may be something that you have to leave in the garage for a day for the mechanic to totally work on it and find these issues that may come up to create engine vibration so it is not a quick fix some persons may fix it very easily because luckily, luckily enough they may just go to the problem and fix it but in other instances you may find out that you will have to diligently search through the different components that causes the engine vibration and this is something that you need to know what are the different components that can cause engine vibration as i have said before the coil pack not firing properly 
can create engine vibration. If the spark plug is not firing properly, it can cause the engine vibration. If your throttle body is partly blocked, it can cause engine vibration when idling. If your fuel system is not putting enough pressure into the injectors, so that the injector inject the amount, the proper amount of fuel in the combustion chamber, you will have engine vibration. If the EGR valve where it is located is, is partly blocked, where it is not allowing the, 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 the combust air to pass into the fuel, into the intake system, you may have engine vibration or if it is locked and not being able to open you will have engine vibration so the amount of different things that can create engine vibration you will have to look at all of these things search them individually to find and solve your problem so it is not a quick fix so lucky enough i was able to find mine by the by cleaning just the throttle body and very soon from now, I may need to check through the system again to clean each system to see if I can get a better run from the engine. Alright, so hopefully this video is of use to you. You may use it to help in solving your engine vibration issues. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Have yourself a nice time.